Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Today we will go and exactly see what are those pricing points or the fields on quote line item, how those are getting calculated and we will try applying all the different types of discountings and, and, uh, and, and uh, the pricing right which can affect one product and we'll see how ultimately the net price is being derived by the CPQ. So this is one table which is uh, just to bring up the uh, I will say the kind of revision type where you will just seeing that these are the what are the different pricing tools here you have a uh, block pricing and then we talked about the POT remember these all are deriving the pricing these are not discounts right then now this table is very important table this table is you have if you see on the left hand side column you will have all the fields that are there uh, in uh, on quote line item object and these fields are getting calculated by pricing engine always no matter so suppose if I will just have a price list item under which I have a base price at that time it doesn't mean that system is just calculating the list price and the net price right so every pricing cycle system will calculate all the fields on each line item the only thing is that if there is let's suppose if I have a price book entry and I have entered hundred dollar and I do not have any other any other types of pricing for discount system will keep stamping the same value on all the fields like that so we'll talk about it um, so let me just uh, uh, you know let's go through this excel and try to understand that so suppose uh, I have a product which is let's say laptop and uh, uh, and I'm saying in my price book entry uh, the pricing is let's say thousand dollar okay so if I will start comparing this and I will use this table all uh, you know to in order to go through it and this right hand side it is typically saying that if you have this then it will affect that pricing so let's see so first if you see the very first field which is CPQ pricing engines calculate is the original price okay and original price no matter what is your price type of on the product what discount you have applied doesn't matter at the end of the day original price will always will be calculated uh, uh, whatever the value you have put it in the price book entry and that's the reason right suppose you have a block pricing you have a POT pricing and all and all uh, there your list price is different and that's the reason uh, this original price typically uh, will not be used uh, or it is not being you know even displayed in the in the cart right the reason is that this might confused but uh, if some in some logic if you really want to know what is the price of or, uh, of this particular product on the price book entry then you can always refer the original price field um, on that quote line item right regardless as I said what will be your pricing method what discounts doesn't matter system will always even if you are putting a zero dollar so your original price of the product will be zero dollar so if I will start from here so let's say original price so moment I put a, a thousand dollar in my price book entry so system will moment I will add this product laptop system will stamp this thousand dollar from here okay now what is the next pricing point which systems calculate uh, this is the then after calculating the original price and all calculations are happening in a step point it's not that at once everything is calculated the engine is calculating each things in a step wise that is why pricing behind the scene is complex 
so once the original price is calculated by the uh, by the system then system will try to calculate the list price of the product now starting from this point right uh, it will start checking what is the uh, pricing method if you have so if you see here on the right hand side the very first thing if your price type is list then it will take from the price book and that is why initially if you remember all the products when when uh, i was creating right when my price type field is list okay so i hope you guys have gone through it but again i'm 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 going through here so that you can recall everything so i'm talking about this field right so by default uh, when uh, I, I was creating the, any product and not overriding any field values or the, the price method what is happening because here it is a list it is taking from the price book entry right so this is what it is so if your product pricing method is list then then it will take from price book let's say if you have overridden it and make it the block then definitely whatever you will define the pricing under the block pricing that becomes the list price or if you have pot so we have seen all the scenarios right if i have changed my pricing field price type field or the subscription type right from um, i mean list to to pot then the list price will started getting calculated based on whatever the percentage and and the product that are there in the cart or if you are doing option over price right? so if if your product is an is an option and you have used the price field not the discount field remember on options you, you have two options right one is the pricing and other is the discount percentage and amount so if you are using price discount option price field then system will derive the uh, the list price of that particular option through from that particular field which is your option pricing override so in any one of these ultimately it has to be one of these at the end of the day right so if you are not overriding it then it will take the whatever the original price field is there it will stamp from there or else let's say in this example since we are talking let's say we have defined the block right i just want to add all the flavors so here block i have one to ten uh, quantity i have let's say just to uh, differentiate it's a 900 dollar okay so what happens in that case is moment i will add it so now the list price system will stamp simply 900 that is what we are seeing the output uh, 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 in the cart right <clears throat> so let me highlight it with a different color so this is your original price this is your list price now and we will go and see it in the system as well first try understanding in, in excel that will be easy then the name after calculating the list price what systems calculates this field which is called special price now special price um, how system will be basically uh, calculating the the special price if you have defined the cost plus markup so in the price type if you have selected the cost and remember one of you have asked that hey um, I mean there is a list price and there is uh, there is a net price where exactly cost has been applied see at the special price level your cost price has been applied and that is why if you remember uh, in case of cost you are still seeing the list price from the price book entry but net price you are seeing from the cost table right why because cost will not change or not override or, or not derive anything at the list price level okay so if you have defined anything cost or contracted slash customer pricing or, or option discount and that is why this table is very important I, I i never said that you have to mug it up but this table you have to mug it up learn it by heart because you will get multiple permutations combinations questions in the certifications also and also for your project design this is very important uh, table to refer so if you have uh, either one of these that will go and you know change or or affect the special price okay so just for sake right let's say here i'm i'm just entering all the discounts so here for an example i am saying i have optional discount which is od let's say 
that I have defined. Now the first question is that if I am defining this as an 10% as an option discount, then if I will say special price. So this 10% first very question is this 10% will be applied on what? Will it be applied at 900 or will it apply on $1000 because this is my original price. So always remember one thumb rule no matter how you know interviewer will try asking or how uh, you know certification questions scenarios will be twisted. Always remember and that is why the reason I am drawing like that as a letter that the always the source for the deriving or applying any any logic is always the immediate pricing point. So in case of deriving the 10% of uh, list, I mean in order to derive a special price, whatever cost or whatever option discount cost anyways, uh, you know, you, you need not, uh, uh, you know, need any reference, whatever you will put it in the cost, that simple system will put it in the special price. But I am, that purposely I am taking one of the discount, which is let's say in percentage. So that percentage will apply on what? So answer is that percentage will be applied on the list price because this is the immediate pricing point. So in this case, what will be the uh, special price? Then in, in that case, 900 minus 10% it would be 90. So this becomes the special price. Okay. Now after special price, what is the next price which which engines go as, go and calculate is the regular price. Now the regular price is a result of volume discount which means the discount schedules. It could be the tier based discount, it could be the volume or whatsoever. So ultimately if your product has discount schedule, then it will affect the regular price. So in this case, if here again I am writing suppose discount schedules okay, uh, or DS. And here also I am saying it is in a, based on the tier which I have defined, it's a 10% discount. So now my regular price and again I am applying everything on the same product which is laptop. So the regular price of this product would be the 10% of what? 10% of special price. Correct? Because this one is the immediate one. So what would be your price then? 810 minus 81. Right? 10% of 810 is 81. So this is your regular price of the product. Now let's go. So after regular price calculation system will go and try calculating for, uh, uh, customer price. Okay. For customer price, if you have uh, applied any additional discounts, that will change or affect the customer price. So in this case, if I will say here now, let's say as a sales rep, I have entered again 10% as my additional discount. So in this case, what would be the customer price? Customer price would be 7, I mean, where this 10% discount will be applied? Immediate one, what is that? Regular price, right? So your customer price would be 729 minus, what would be the 10%? 72.9, right? So this is your customer price. Since I have applied the additional discount right it will be not like okay 10 percent of 1000 or 10 percent of 900 it is 10 percent of 729 then after customer price calculations and see all things are happening very rapidly that's why with a blink of you know uh, fractions of milliseconds that's how uh, we never realizing that this is how the the engine is doing behind the scene and taking all the calculations so once the customer price is calculated by the system, system will go and, and, and try calculating the partner price. Now partner price of course, uh, if you have the discount applied, again here I am let's say saying that partner discount, that is also 10%. So now the what would be the partner price? So partner price is simply, which will be applied on customer price, right? So 656. 0.1, sorry, 0.1 minus 
60 what will be the 10 percent 65.61 right sorry so this is your partner price and in the last in the ladder is the finally system is calculating the net price and while calculating the net price the very last discounts which CPQ will check is the distributor discount. If you have it uh, here again, I am let's say I'm saying a uh, distributor discount, which is also 10%. Then the finally the net price, the what systems calculate will be your 590.49 minus. I'm just doing the roundup, okay? So 59. Point, let's say one, okay? So that is what the net price of the product um, uh, when if you see I have applied series of discounts and ultimately what discount I have applied is a 50% total if you see and even if you simple do math right that is where the people can oh I have applied 50% so 50% if you even if you applied on 900 directly what would be your net price final $450 ideally but it's not the case like that. Now, what is happening so far, right? Uh, uh, I mean, so you say that, hey, I have just distributor discount, right? So, or uh, let's say discount schedule, only I have a discount schedule. Now, in that case, how, if, the, if I will take the same example, how system will do? So, in, and, and this is how you will get a different types of permutation combination question that, uh, okay, uh, the price type of this field is this, and uh, uh, you know admin has uh, applied discount schedules and let's say partner discount these two discounts right and then what would be the net price what would be the regular price what would be the customer price any field that uh, you know it, it can be asked so in any of the things all you have to draw this ladder and each ladder just if you, you know initially while trying it right write all the pricing points or the factors which affect those pricing now in this case, let's suppose uh, uh, my product has only discount schedule and after that I am applying partner discount. So if I will ask you to do the same thing, what you have to do? Till, till list price, right, which is the 900 is still going to same because discount schedule is not affecting the list price. And since my uh, price type is block, which is 900, so till list price is 900. After that special price is there, right? So suppose now you know let's say the special price is not getting affected by so which means there is no option discount no cost no contractor pricing nothing so what system does system will simply stamp the same previous value in this field it, it doesn't mean that that is here lot of people confused that okay since there is nothing which affects the special price so system will leave this field blank system will never leave any field blank in the pricing point because if it is blank, then system will not able to calculate the next pricing point. Because as I said initially, the source will always will be the immediate pricing field in the ladder. So what system does is that system always do in a stepwise manner. It will go and check that, oh, you do not have defined this, then that's fine. So let's stamp the same value, whatever your previous uh, 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 value of the pricing point of, uh, is, was there. So in this case, since this is not there, your, your special price will be still 900. Now after that, in case of regular price, what will happen since discount schedule is there? So this time discount will be applied on still special price, but the value is what? 900, right? So this become what? 810 is your regular price. After that, what is the pricing point? Customer price. And we know now that customer price will be affected by additional discount. Now I am not applying additional discount. So what will happen? System will again copy the same value, which is 810. Correct. After that, systems calculate the pricing uh, partner price. But yes, I am applying the partner discount. Then this discount will be applied on what? It will applied on customer price. So now what would be my partner price, which will be 810 minus 81. And after that, I am not applying any distributor discount. So the finally, what would be my net unit? 
it will be simply the same 7 to 9 since there is nothing or you can also you know uh, if, if this will confuse that you can also uh, always at every point right so let's say uh, you can uh, you know here you can uh, if, if for an example here right so you can do math like that also right if, if you say oh, I am confused here so you can do like this so let's say uh, this minus zero right because there is no additional discount so that's how it also come as 800 and day it's up to you how you want to uh, make it things remember so that is how your pricing points at each stage works based on what types of discount what types of your pricings you are putting initially let's say we do not have anything whatever we are putting the list price we are seeing in the net price the reason is since i do not have any factor here system will keep stamping the same pricing value on all your all of your pricing fields and that's how you are seeing that list price and the net price both are same thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today